Hello, this is Steve at GreenfuelH2O.com. I know it's been a very long time since we've had a video on the 354 plate cell, but uh, I have dusted it off and set it back up again, and now uh, I think this is video seven. Uh, the last video was shot um, two and a half years ago, and I uh, kind of left you guys hanging. Um, I think we produced about 20 liters a minute out of it, but I didn't have enough uh, power to feed to the system to get anything else. And my, my goal, when I think I started video one, was somewhere between 40 and 50 liters a minute. Uh, I don't know if it will do it, but uh, now I do have a power source to drive this cell um, to that point, if it will do it. So, just to recap, um, the last video was two and a half years ago. What this is, is it's two, uh, I've got two stacks of 59 plate cells. So there's six 59 plate cells in here. And each cell is wired to use 120 volts uh, DC. So we've got six of those hooked up. And let me show you the power supply. Take the camera off. And on the power supply, uh, this is where it's plugged in now. So I got it plugged right into a 50 amp, 220 volt power source. The power supply uh, comes into this GE box, and I've got six bridge rectifiers there. They're hooked up to each cell, one rectifier to each 59 plate cell, and each cell also has a variable controller. So I can vary the output uh, for different HHO projects. Uh, I've got six 15 amp breakers, each breaker controls one 59 plate cell. I did put on the uh, heat sinks that I needed to do in the last video. You can see the individual wires hooked to each individual cell. And down here, what I've done is I've taken all the positives, wired them together, and put them through my clamp meter so I can get a uh, semi-accurate amperage on the uh, on the cell. And then right over here we have the uh, a voltmeter. I have it connected to the first cell, so I'll give you an idea of how many volts you're going through uh, uh, each cell. I'm sure that the, uh, the balance won't be exact, but uh, we can get it close. Right here we have got a one gallon bubbler. And this one gallon bubbler, if you can see the tube in there, that's a one inch tube. So uh, when, the, when the HHO comes through there, it's really gonna, really gonna hum through there. Uh, right here I've got uh, the old-fashioned uh, measurement device. We'll use it to measure the amount of HHO we're producing. Uh, it looks like my camera's only got four minutes left. Um, on this video I'm just going to fire it up and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, the next video I'll come back and I'll actually do some measurements on it. We'll see how much HHO this produces. So, put the top back on here. And I've got all the breakers on. Let me zero out my amp meter. Alright, we'll go ahead and kick it on and we'll take a look. I'm just going to set these on full. There's a full and there's a variable setting here. You put on the full setting, it bypasses the controller. You put on the variable setting, then you can control the amount of voltage going to the cell. So for right now, I'm just going to put it on full. Uh, so you can see right there, 126 volts. See the production there off of one of the cells. And we've got six 
6.5 amps. Here I'll go ahead and turn on a couple more. There's the second and third one, so this whole top row here is now on. See the production. It's really moving there. And right now, the top, we got 17 amps on the top three. Give you an idea what the it looks like coming into the uh, tank. Maybe I can get a picture down in the tank. I don't know if we'll be able to see this, but we'll take a look down there. See it coming out there. Both these tubes right here are both intake tubes. So these are the inputs going into the tank. And these two tubes are the outputs going back into the generators there. But it's really moving there. A lot of HHO. Okay, I'll flip on the other three. So we're gonna we're gonna see all six of these on now. If you look down in the tank now, it's pretty violent down in there. I'm not sure what we're producing, but uh, I can give you an idea. If we just take the amperage, normally it's about 200 watts per liter. We'll just estimate here. We'll go 32 amps uh, times 126 volts. Gives me 4,032 watts, and we divide that by 200, and it gives you about 20 liters a minute. There we go. I'll put the top back on real quick for the video ends here. Let me show you what that looks like down there. So much ATO coming out, it's, you can see the one gallon bubbler moving. Okay, you take this off here. I'll dump it in some water. The output tube into some water so you can see it. Okay. Alright. That's a lot of HHO there. On the next video, I'm going to do some measurements and uh, see how much we're producing now, and then uh, we'll crank it up about as high as we can get and see if we can get that uh, 40 to 50 liters per minute. All right, guys, uh, 354 plate cell is back, and we're going to complete out this video series um, with some successes. All right, guys, thanks for watching.